BibleGateway.com and find out that the lie is what? Virgin? Why are we searching for the word virgin? Man, let's come back over here. All right. And then they all went for four. And then let's come over here and talk about virgins. Yes. This praise the Lord video is, you know, I'm not sure how the Lord going to say it. I'm almost afraid to give a title because you never know how he'll steer a video. But, you know, when we came in this thing, it's called what? The virginity of the 144 or the 144 is virginity. One of them. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about that virgin requirement that we find about in Revelation. So let's let's look at this word. Now, you know, old coach in the fight. You know, my thing is the Bible is written in code and you can't take none of these words literally, man. You can't take bread to literally. You can't take wine literally. You can't take goat literally. You can't take sheep literally. You can't even take Israel literally. You can't take none of that literally. Not here in 2018. Let, let's get back on track. All right. All right, now what we're looking at is the virginity of the 144, and so let's ask for a little bit of help. Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord, asking that you will open up our communication pathways, Lord, that you will allow your word to sink into our heart, the clean, pure word that you will have us to understand. Let that reach us in a way that we, to which we need to understand it personally, Lord. This we ask in your Son's name. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. <clears throat> I shouldn't say that in Jesus' name we pray because it makes people think that it's two different people. And it's not. Jesus is what you read in the King James Version. But when you actually go into the Greek and look at what the angel told Mary and Joseph to call that son. And what they actually called him. It's not Jesus when you look at the word. So um, <clears throat> we'll, 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 we're going to move on. Like I said, you never know where the Lord going to take us. But right now, he's going to take us to Genesis uh, 24 and 16. Now, the, the way we learn over at Hermes Academy, we don't hermeneutify the Bible. We don't use hermeneutics or, you know, interpretation. We translate the Bible. Now, the way they'll translate the scriptures, you have to um, you have to do just that. You have to understand what the word is. Now, the word we're looking for is virgin. Now, what we found is that one, a reliable way to understand what a word means is to go back to the very first time that it is mentioned and look for the key. So we're here, back here, we searched for it. Now we have, I think, 64 hits in this thing. You can see them over there on the right side of the screen. There's two in Genesis, and I believe we're looking at them both. The quarters confirms that here we are at the very first time that the word is mentioned. So it's a, it's a key in here. So what is, what is a virgin? Let's read it. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin. Okay. So neither had any man known her. She went down to the well and filled a, her pitcher and came up. Okay. Now, that right there at the end where it has that colon there, that kind of begins the part. So, the, so, there's the key for the virgin right there. Okay. Now, this should clear up a lot of stuff because it's saying what a virgin is. Now, when you go to the... Um, uh, 144 which this video is about we're doing a lot of these videos because we are attacking we are sending some shots over at the enemy we are trying to draw fire we're trying to pick a fight with them we are trying to make the head of that snake rise up so you know we can kill it and talking about the lie not about people that's that we're not not exposing anybody you know we gave you you know three of them to choose from and you know we didn't you know we can choose a version is a damsel a virgin is a damsel. And you say, well, what is a damsel? We know what a damsel is. We got to look that up. Hopefully, you know, a damsel in distress. You know, a woman, a, a lady. Very fair means very beautiful to look upon. Now, we ain't going to get on all this much detail. I just want to, this is the first time we see a virgin. So now let's go to the 144 and say, well, how is this related? How are the 144 a damsel? And how are they very fair to look upon? The, but these are the 144, so we're going to go with it. It says, neither had any man known them. Okay, what the one four four? Wait a minute now. Wait, neither had any man known them. It's starting to fall apart here. Now we was getting on this um, virgin thing, being that these guys were going to somehow be women. I guess is where we were going to end up. And very fair to look up on. You know, I guess we, we got to go there now. Now the one four four women because um, this man thing. But no, let's let's load. Let, I'm not going to toy with you guys. We're gonna go on. We're going to hit the other verse in Genesis. I stand by, 
um, I stand by the well, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and I say, give, give to me. Now, this is talking about Jacob, I want to say, was about to meet his wife. Now, there was some stuff going on with, with Isaac, and I may, be, I may I make him mix him up. You might have to check here. But, you know, they sent the servant with, I think, 12 camels loads of gifts for this girl. To go find this girl with 12 camel loads of gifts, gold and just all kinds of stuff. And so when the servant got there, he basically said this prayer. Let this girl just come and dip this water and give it to me and not only to me, but give it to the animal. And that's how, you know, the um, I saw our forefather met our grandmother, you know, that way. But, you know. We don't have to go on. But notice it's still a woman there. Now we're talking about the 144. Now we get into Exodus. Okay. Um, if her father utterly refused to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. Okay. Now you should be noticing a pattern. We got three, at least three here. And it takes three to make a pattern. The pattern here is that they're all women. Okay. All women. Okay. Now, let's notice here, Leviticus 21 and 3 is a sister, 21 and 13 is a wife, 21 and 14 is a woman, a divorced woman. Uh, how can a divorced woman be a virgin? It says, a widow or a divorced woman or profane or a harlot. These shall, be, these shall he not take, but he shall take a virgin of his own people to wife. Okay, now... See, so far in the Bible, we're already up to Leviticus, and there are no virgin males in the Bible whatsoever. I hope you guys understand the the um, the pattern here, because I really want to move on, but I really want you to understand this p pattern. Okay, uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5 is, is um, that it was a damsel. 22 and 17, daughter's virginity. 22 and 19 is is uh, because has brought up an evil name unto a virgin of Israel. Hold on, let's see. And they shall immerse him in a hundred shekels of silver and give them unto the father of the damsel because he has brought up an evil name upon a virgin of Israel. Okay, now what this is talking about, guys, is, and, and is when um, it's a rule in the Bible that if a young man or if a man takes a virgin and he goes unto her and, and you know, um, 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 comes back and say, no, she wasn't a virgin, then that's what this is talking about here. And they shall miss him in hundred steps to give unto the father of the damsel because he has brought, that man who done this thing has brought an evil upon the name of, he basically lied on a female child of God and that is not right. You know, he, it's a serious offense. That's what this one is talking about. It's very serious offense. But again, it's talking about a woman. Look at Deuteronomy 22 and 20. It's talking about a damsel. 23, I mean 22 and 23 is talking about a damsel. Deuteronomy 25 and 28 is talking about a damsel. We're almost out of the, the Torah, guys. Notice a pattern. The Torah is the instructions. The first five books of the, of the Bible are the instructions. You know, then you get into some other stuff and some other stuff going on. But that's the instructions. We're almost finished. 32 and 30, 25 says, um, The sword without and the terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also and the man of gray hairs. Okay, now this is what I learned. That, well, I'm learning a lot out of this class. But this is one thing I learned out of this class is that there are no young men virgins in the Bible. There are virgins and then there are young men. See, old coach in the fight, I got children. I have three that's grown and gone and 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 four that's still at the house. With the oldest being uh, 16 years old and the youngest just turned 11. You know, and there's girls and there's boys here mixed. But I'm just now understanding I don't have, um, well, I have three boys and a girl. I don't have... Uh, four virgins. No, I have one virgin and four young men. Notice that pattern here. All right, judges over here. Um, oh, well, now we're getting into judges. We're out of the Torah. So let me jump on. Let me jump on down. It's going to keep saying the virginity of the women, guys, until you get into the prophets where it's going to talk about the virginity of the um, um the virginity of the church, right? And then here, let's get into, no, I want to go all the way to the end and start backwards.
because it's, it's, if you want to get a key for something, you start from the front to go from to the back. But if you want to get a really understanding something, that's what revelations mean. It's revealing. It's make, that's what I mean. It's revealing the understanding. It got kind of, you ain't going to understand nothing until it's revealed to you. So starting here, you know, is, is not a bad idea. So let's look. And plus, this takes us right to, to the crux of the idea. Look. When you put in the word virgin, even though the word here is not virgin, it's virgins, the pure, the plural form of the word. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Now we're talking about the 144, right? The, these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever they goeth, okay? Now, note, we're talking about the virgin, so we're going we're gonna to try to wrap it up. So we ain't going to get into the rest of this stuff down here. But we're sticking to the virginity of the 144. So now, if you look here, it says they they are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins okay now my wife made an excellent point guys she 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 put me on point that none of revelations is taken literally right i mean you have beasts in revelations you have clouds in revelations you have um um uh, angels pouring vi pouring um vials of plagues out I mean, they're, they're, they have, there's a one plague that sounds really, really close to like a nuclear explosion. There's a lot of people who think this thing is nuclear that they're describing in Revelations. Yet, you know what I mean, is, is there's a lot of stuff going, my point is there's a lot of stuff going on in Revelations. And you, you take none of it literally. Why would you take this word literally, guys? OK, so now if you take this word literally, you have to take the first part of this literally, too. And frankly, I'm offended by it. I'm offended by it because I'm like, why? Why are these women defiling me? Why are they defiling you? Why? I'm looking at I'm looking at my son out here. He's 16 years old and he doesn't think he's supposed to be married. You know, at least one point he didn't. I don't I haven't talked to him about it in a long time. But at one point we had a discussion about the 144 and how these guys were here to save humanity. And in my eyes, he was the only candidate lined up because as far as I'm concerned, he was the only person on the planet keeping the fees, the Torah and everything. It's like, golly, it's trying to find the right Sabbath day and all that. So, so, so I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm telling you about my era. I'm not telling you that I was right or anything. But, you know, he took to heart what I said about the virginity clause, and he, I don't know if he plans on having kids or not. All right. Virginity, talking about the virginity of the men. So, if you take this literally, if you take that the virginity is literal, you also have to take that the women are literal, which means that um, women are defiling us. This means it says not defiled by, with woman. So they're virgins. So that would mean that giving up your virginity to a woman defiles you. So that means all of us are defiled. Now, let me tell you, you know, I don't know what kind of Lord you got. I don't know what y'all think about. I don't know how to put this in a nice way. Let me just get to the point. The Lord doesn't do this, guys. We went all the way through the Torah, the instructions, the first... And there was no virginity clause in there. Did it anywhere say that anybody was supposed to be a virgin? Did he even say that a woman was supposed to be a virgin? Hermes Academy. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtue.